Good evening, Dr. Walker, radiology from denwalker.com. Uh, just a little discussion about uh, table salt. So table salt, um, which is sort of new to me, uh, has a compound in there called ferric cyanide. Now, ferric cyanide, they, they use that as a, quote, anti-caking agent. Now, here's the deal with that. Uh, ferric cyanide actually breaks down into uh, something called cyanide. And I'm certain most of us know what cyanide is. It's a poison. Um, what you will see, though, uh, in some of the reports is that, quote, ferric cyanide or cyanide in, quote, small amounts uh, has not been, quote, proven to be damaging to your body. Now, not certain who's actually doing the study. Not sure that where that report is. However, uh, it's still cyanide. And cyanide, in my opinion, is still very toxic to the system. So there are other salts, obviously, uh, that does not have this, quote, cyanide compound uh, in there. One more thing. Table salt also, again, <laughs> surprisingly, what they do with the table salt is they, uh, they take the salt and then they bleach the salt. They remove all of the minerals from uh, the salt and add iodine to it, right? So they take all of it out and they bleach it and put iodine back in it. So all of the minerals that you would typically get from the sea or from uh, salt water has been removed from table salt and given to you. So why would you remove all the minerals, minerals that you need for your body from the salt and sell it to you in a product that is damaging to you? Now, the other two salts that uh, I, I, I like and talk about, Himalayan salt and uh, Celtic salt or Celtic salt, some people would call it. Both of those have around 80 different types of minerals in both of them. Pink Himalayan salt and Celtic salt, both of which have 80 plus minerals in it. Not bleached, right? Not bleached and uh, does not have uh, does not have any cyanide whatsoever in there, right? So your option, option number one, continue using table salt that has ferric cyanide as an anti-caking agent. And then uh, that breaks down into cyanide or one of the other two options, which are Celtic salt or pink Himalayan salt. It'll take a little while for you to get adjusted to how much of that salt to actually use. But in a couple of days, you should become accustomed to uh, how much of the pink Himalayan or the regular Celtic salt uh, you can use. Both have nice flavors to it. Um, and again, neither of which have any uh, remnants of cyanide in it. Thanks for listening, Dr. Walker.